objectives. One, define the antiderivative of a continuous function f over an interval i. Two, determine the integral of some basic functions. Three, find the antiderivative of functions obtained by linear combinations of basic functions. Four, define integration by parts and apply it. Five, define definite integral and identify some of its properties. Six, recognize the relation between area and integrals and determine areas using definite integrals. One, we say that g is an antiderivative of a function f of g prime of x equal f of x, and we write g of x equal integral f of x dx. In order to prove that g is antiderivative of a function f, you must prove that g prime of x equal f of x. Note, the derivative of the integral of f of x dx is equal to f of x, and the integral of f prime of x dx is equal to f of x plus c. Application. Show that g of x equal 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 is an antiderivative of f of x equal 6x minus 2. You must apply the rule g prime of x equal f of x. Now solution. g prime of x equal 6x minus 2 plus 0, which is f of x. So g is an antiderivative of f of x. 2. Determine the integral of some basic functions. 1. Integral of a dx. a is a real number like 2, 3, 4 over 5, for example. Integral of, of a dx equal ax plus c. Integral of the function of the form ax plus b power n dx equal 1 over a times ax plus b power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Here a is the coefficient of x. Integral 1 over x squared dx is equal to minus 1 over x plus c, x different from 0. Integral 1 over radical x dx equal 2 radical x plus c. Integral of radical x dx equal 2 over 3x radical x plus c. Here is an important rule. Integral of x n dx power n dx equal x power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Integral of u prime of x times u n of x dx equal u n plus 1 of x over n plus 1 of x plus c. Here u prime is the derivative of u, so you must apply this rule. Integral u prime of x over u square of x dx equal minus 1 over u of x plus c. Integral u prime of x over radical u of x dx equal 2 radical u of x plus c. Integral u prime of x radical u of x dx equal 2 over 3 u of x, radical u of x, plus c. Now, basic rules related to logarithmic function. As you know, derivative of ln x equal 1 over x, so integral of 1 over x dx equal ln x plus c, where x positive. 2. Integral u prime of x over u of x dx equal ln mu of x plus c with u of x positive. If u, if u prime is the derivative of u, then we must apply this rule. Exercise 1. Calculate the following integrals. Part A. Integral of 17x cubed dx. 17 integral x cubed dx and integral x cubed dx is similar to this formula. You must apply this formula equals 17x power 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 plus c. So the result is 17 over 4x power 4 plus c. Part b, integral of x squared over radical x dx. This integral needs some simplification, which is equal to x squared radical x which is x power half, and x power half in the denominator is equal to x power minus half in the numerator, dx. So the result is integral 3 over 2 dx. And this rule is similar to this rule. So apply this rule, we get x power 3 over 2 plus 1 over 3 over 2 plus 1. And 3 over 2 plus 1 is 5 over 2, so it's become 2 over 5. And x power 5 over 2 is radical x power 5. So the result is 2 over 5 x squared radical x plus 
C. Exercise determine the following integrals. Part A. Integral of 3x plus 1 square dx. This integral is similar to this rule with a equal 3, b equal 1, and n equal 2. To apply this rule, we get 1 over 3, 3x plus 1 power 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus c. So multiply 3 by 3, we get 1 over 9, 3x plus 1 power 3 plus c. Part b, integral of 2 minus 4x power 3 dx. Here a is minus 4, coefficient of x, and b is 2, and n is 3. So this integral equal 1 over minus 4, 2 minus 4x power 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 plus c. So the result is minus 1 over 12, 2 minus 4x power 4 plus c. Exercise 3. Calculate integral of 1 minus x over radical x dx. In this case, we separate radical x, so we get 1 over radical x minus x minus integral x over radical x dx. And you know that integral of 1 over radical x dx is 2 radical x. It's a rule. And integral of x over radical x we make rationalized by multiplying radical x in the numerator and denominator. We get integral of radical x. So the final result is 2 radical x minus 2 over 3x radical x plus a constant c. Exercise 4. Calculate the following integrals. Integral 1 minus x plus x cube over x cube dx. We separate x cube to each term, we get 1 over x cube, integral 1 over x cube minus x over x cube plus x cube over x cube dx. And when we make some simplifying here, x over x cube 1 over x square and 1 over x cube x power minus 3. So we apply the, third, the second rule, we get x power minus 2 and integral 1 over x square is like the last formula here. And integral of 1 is similar uh, as integral of a dx. So the result is 1 over x squared plus 1 over x plus x plus c. Exercise, calculate the following integrals. Part a, integral of 3 over x dx. Here we can put 3 here. So we get 3 integral 1 over x dx. And integral of 1 over x dx, as we see in the first rule, is ln x. So we obtain 3 ln x plus c. Part b, integral of 2x over x square dx. Here, we have to notice that in derivative of x square plus 1 is 2x. So it's similar to second formula. When we apply this formula, we get ln nu, and nu is x squared plus one. So the final result is ln x squared plus one plus c. Homework exercise one, page 56, from part one to part seven, from mastering book.